Hi, welcome to Talking Shop with the Bullets. We're back for another video. I'm in the middle of my work day, so I'm not drinking any alcohol, but David's having a beer. I need is, one. Which is great. He's had a long couple days doing some mediations in the office. So we wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, adoption. It's National Adoption Month, uh, November. And we wanted to talk to you about our story. And I, I think for me that adoption was something that was really easy to go to. I was very fortunate enough in high school to have a mentor, Miss um, Connie Pokras, who is actually a Facebook friend, so she might see this, but she was a teacher in high school and I babysat for her family. She had um, two boys um, that were uh, biological and she adopted this great little girl named Holly and I fell in love with her. So she was adopted and I always had a very positive message and feeling about adoption. And when we started our fertility, we had secondary infertility, um, we started to do some treatments and we started also to look at adoption. And for me personally, adopting was always something that was very positive and uh, we, we went um, down that route pretty quickly. So let's just backtrack a little bit. We have four daughters. Our oldest is our biological child, our youngest is our biological child, and our two middle girls are both adopted. So why we decided to go down the adoption path might be a little bit different than the average bear. We had had our oldest and then we wanted a second child. Julie couldn't get pregnant. We went through some infertility stuff. And for any of you who know me, uh, doctors are not my friends. <laughs> and so the, the thought of having to inject her with anything was um, not something I really wanted to do. So we, we went through some of the infertility stuff and then ultimately landed on, we didn't really care if- I'm gonna let our golden retriever in who's knocking at the door. the golden retriever or the uh, little white dog. It's one of the two. Come on. Who is it? Oh, it's not the golden retriever. It's yeah, it's, uh, both. Okay. Okay, and, come on. And our little grandson. Okay. <clears throat> so that was who was knocking at the door. Those Sorry those, about this, were, but we're actually living in it. Yeah, these are our guests for tonight. So we we decided to skip out on the thousands and thousands of dollars and me having to stick a needle in Julie's tush every however long often it would be to try to see if she'd get pregnant. Instead, went down the adoption path and we did it independently, not through an agency. We ran ads, you talked on the phone. I did, it was, um, it was incredible actually. We had a special phone number set up um, in our home and I had a pad of paper where I would talk to the birth mothers and write notes. And I also had coloring books and crayons and special activities for Amanda to do. Yeah, so we had to keep Amanda busy while I tried to talk to birth moms on the phone, and it was kind of a crazy, exciting time. Um, but for us, it worked out great. We ended up adopting um, Zoe first, and she's 25. Mm -hmm. And then about a year later, the birth mom contacted our attorney that we had used again and said she was pregnant, and did we want another one? Mm -hmm. This is our grandson. I, Isaac. This is Isaac. To participate, <laughs> He's trying way. to be in the. So long story yeah, short. So we adopted our second one, and then and then, and then we had two a, years later. I was pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> I'm boom, pregnant there with Josie. Happened. So we're they were all wanted in different ways, and they came to us in different ways. Exactly. And we feel really blessed to have a you know a family with four great kids, and then and now we have three um, grandsons. This is one of them. This is. Isaac, say hi, Isaac. <laughs> um, and then we have um, Shane, who's three and a half, and then one of our daughters, Natalie, had a baby, and she's not able to parent the baby, so that baby, um, Liam, is being adopted by a cousin, a birth cousin, and that's another story in itself, but we're really um, very happy about that situation. And for people that aren't ready to parent children, we think we, you know, I feel adoption is a great option. And it's been a great way to build our family. Absolutely. Yep. Both ways. Thanks for visiting with us. A little clip of our story. You'll see more as we go further on. You're going to see more in our book that comes out Valentine's Day 2020. Please like us on Facebook at uh, shop, Talking Shop with the Bullets. Like us on and follow us on Instagram at Talking Shop with the Bullets. And also, if you have the time and inclination, go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel, Talking Shop with the Bullets. We'll see you very soon. Thanks again. Say so long, Isaac. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>